Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Upper Michigan Today. We are live this morning on the campus of Northern Michigan University. We are in the band room at the Thomas Fine Arts Building. That was a great intro to you. Fantastic job. Thank you. I've always wanted to crash a cymbal, believe it or not. That was my first time ever doing it. Um, a lot heavier. <laughs> Then I kind of thought a lot more technique goes into it yeah, too. Yeah, her first her first crash didn't sound real great actually. It was no. like clunky. Real it was really clunky. clunky <laughs> but yeah. you know we have a a, a legendary teacher yes, here that kind of gave me a little lesson this morning. Uh, yeah. We're highlighting Dr. Steve Grugan this morning in the NMU band. He's 27 years mm. here with the program as band director. So should we? Yeah. Go ahead over to him. Let's get go started. find him. Good morning, Dr. Grugan. Morning. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are you? Good. Thanks for having us. I know we're going to be joining the band later and, and really uh, getting some of those sounds that you've right. been known for. But we want to start all the way at the beginning and talk a little bit about the history of the band here at Northern Michigan University. Sure. You know, in the beginning, uh, you have a photo up on the screen from the 40s. Whoa. So talk about what the band was like back then, from what you've heard. And I wasn't here during right. this <laughs> 1940 picture, but uh, yeah, the band, you know, as it started out, Northern was a teacher's college, and they got the band started. And there was also a symphonic band at the time, too. So uh, this picture up here is uh, the band playing at the old uh, football field. Of course, that's where the Barry Event Center is now, before the dome was built. Way before the dome was built and before I got here, that's for sure. The band is lucky now that they get to play inside the dome versus I'm looking at that mm -hmm. looking at the snow that they're on and th all the elements on a weekend like like this one <laughs> yeah. yeah for sure yeah, <laughs> yeah right yeah so we have a rehearsal scheduled for outdoors this afternoon we'll see how that works out yeah. I told the students it looked like it was going to rain this morning, but but stop raining about noon, and that sounded great until I said, well, but it's going to start snowing pretty good too, <laughs> at that time. So we might actually be here in the band room for our rehearsal this afternoon. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of history with the band, uh, Dr. Grugan, and I know for you, you've been here in 27 for 27 years. You've changed the program a lot, but. Yeah. I want to talk about the ways in which you do. I know you have yeah. some other pictures to share with us. Yeah. So give us a, a little rundown, a little history of the NMU Wildcats band. Sure, well, we'll step on over here and I've got some stools. Oh gosh, look at this. Yeah, I know. Top notch. Well, <laughs> as long as I can get my uh, slides going. You can Technical tell he's also, well, we, you can tell he's a teacher, right? Because he also, uh, Prepa is very prepared, <laughs> which is so nice. <laughs> so this is the band actually before I came. This is the year before I got here. And uh, I think there were about 38 people in the band at that point, but it didn't take too long. And we have actually 140 in the band. So th from 38 to 140, it's 27 years though, we ought to be able to do that, right? Yeah. And uh, you know, here's a different way of uh, showing um, how the growth of the band, we, we we form an inn yeah. in the pregame show. Yeah. So this is from 1997. Like and we can year. actually get this picture full screen because then we'll compare it with today and you can really see the growth of it. You see there's there's two lines there in the end, one line right. in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of short too, isn't mm -hmm. it? So it had grown, a uh, better uh, quality here on this picture, the later uh, photo. But then now at this point we have the three lines and 12 color guard in there. And it's uh, it's grown quite a bit, and you know it's important to have a large marching band because of the impact. You know, mm -hmm. you know, a band, even the small bands, they can play musically and they can play well and all that, do a good show. But uh, the the bigger the size, <laughs> bigger the band, the more impact it gets. That's probably the main thing. There. So, what did it really take to to take the band to this level, to to increase the numbers by that much, and mm -hmm. to to get those sounds? Well, for one thing, we have really great student leadership, and I've got this uh, video, this uh, photo up of our two drum majors from a couple of years back. Um, and we also have, here's this year's drum majors. This is a cool <laughs> shot, I think. You know, they, they, uh, they, they come out during our pregame show and they, they kind of strut out and they do a back bend, you know, like you'll see in the Big Ten bands and yeah. all that. And uh, one of the, my favorite things that a, a visitor's dad, a campus visitor's dad said to me was, oh gee, I thought it was just a really windy day. <laughs> <You know? laughs> there they are in, in the. Uh, that takes the, that takes some the skill. The drummers are impressive. Yeah. I don't know that I could one do a back bend like that, two continue playing on and right. be in rhythm. I need a yeah. solid five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's hard. Dr drum majors and we also have a, a really effective band council, uh, and it's led here. You see the picture of our band council president, Joe Daniels. He was actually he's a great musician and he's a really great band member. He was actually a member of the top 12. Uh, drum and bugle corps, the Troopers, 
a couple years back. And so I was just going to move the mouse out of the way. Oh, well, you can do that. <laughs> I'll have students, they'll come up out of the rehearsal and just move my mouse out of the way. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> right. Must be a, a Gen Z thing, maybe. I, I don't know. And here's a picture. We'll maybe get to this in a future segment, but this is the first time that we brought uh, script cats. Mm. We'll talk about that in our next segment. Yeah, we it's will. A, it's a percursive cats, too. All right, we'll explain that okay. after commercial. Oh, look at it. He is so <laughs> on point. It is exactly time to take a break. You know what? We're going to have you on our show more often. You're going to have some time, so <laughs> get ready. Okay, <laughs> We're going to talk more about this script cats and the influence that Dr. Grugan has brought into the formations and do some of the drills and, and performances that the, the band members do. Like you said, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. <laughs> 